this video let's talk about facebook ads and doing a b testing i'll show you these two campaigns and doing a b testing helped us reduce our lead cost by more than 50 percent it's amazing so before we jump into it you know what to like and share this video so more people can see this so check this out so two very similar campaigns uh, these campaigns were designed to get messages from people leads uh, on the business page the first campaign so we got 29 messages and what's the cost per message 30 five dollars but the second campaign very very similar offer here it's also a direct messages campaign look at this 59 messages on the second campaign and we're getting 15 dollar per message right here so cost per message it reduced from 35 to 15 and why here's why and by the way stay till the end because i want to show you how to create uh, Facebook ad campaigns like this for local businesses where you can generate leads inside your Facebook messenger so I'll, I'll give you a link to that video as well so stay till the end now let me show you how what's the the change that we made so for this campaign most of the ads that we were running uh, so if I go inside this campaign here are different ad sets that we're running and then uh, let's look at this is the the top ad set 20 messages we got and then if you look here, let me see if I can make it bigger. Let's see if I can make it bigger. I cannot, or let me actually change. Maybe I can do this. There you go. So these ads are actually image ads. So what we did in the past for this campaign was either use images or videos in some of uh, our campaign. So here is a single image. Let me actually uh, change the, rechange this. You will be able to see this is a single image ad. Now here is, uh, this is also a single image ad. I believe this is a multiple images in one picture. So four images, it's one photo, but four different images. But we've also tested videos uh, in this campaign as well. So this is the older campaign that produced 35 per lead per message. So for example, let me, if I go inside here, here is the video ad that we ran right here but here's something when we launched so that campaign ended or we actually closed it uh, with 39 messages and uh, $35 per message that was kind of high so what we did here with the new campaign with a different uh, campaign here's the test that we did which actually paid off so let me actually go inside uh, there are two different ad sets here so uh, go inside here and you see here are two different ad sets C's and one so this ad set right here it's actually bringing us the most messages the 34 messages from that one ad set so what's that ad set what did we do different so let me show this to you so actually let me show you the other the failing ad set here so if i view chart you'll notice it's multiple images because that's what was working better in the previous campaign now if i go back here this is the winning ad set view chart are you ready are you ready look at this it is an image carousel so i don't know if i can make it bigger I, here you go i can make it bigger now so it's an image carousel ad so the a b test we did with this campaign was previously in the previous campaign we were either doing images or videos but this time we're like hey let's test carousels where we can and you can create these carousels inside your facebook ad manager when you're creating the ad and doing this helped us reduce our lead cost by more than half. It's from 35, it's at 15. Now here's something really cool. If I go in the other ad set, in the other ad set too, so in this ad set we'll have image ad running, video ads running, and also the carousel ads. And look at this, the carousel ad is winning by distance. So again, let's look here. Here is the carousel ad. The V2 is a video ad. The V1 is the video ad. And then here is the image ad, right? So multiple image ad. So this is why you always wanna A-B test your Facebook ad campaigns. You can A-B test different type of audiences at the ad set level. You can A-B test different type of uh, creatives like videos carousels images at the ad level but always a b test because you never know you can 
test something that can reduce the cost of your lead, that can improve your margins, improve your ROI. Now, how do you do this A-B testing? I want to show you the, the two different methods you can use. Uh, so let's say we're creating a brand new campaign. I want to show you how to do these kind of like simple A-B tests. It's actually very, very simple, super simple. So let's say I'm doing a uh, engagement type of campaign. Hit continue. I want to hit uh, test campaign. I'm not going to go through, I'll, I'll link another video at the end of this where I'll go through step by step every single thing uh, to create a Facebook ad campaign to generate leads. So make sure you watch that. In this video, I'll kind of skip over some of these things. But here is at the campaign level, the three levels, campaign, then ad set, and then the ad. So at the campaign level, you can turn on the A-B test, and then this can improve ad performance, test variation with different images, text, audiences, uh, blah 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 so you can either turn this on the a b test here and then at the ad level you'll create like uh, multiple different uh, uh, images so that's one way the other method what you can do is i'm actually going to go let's keep going the way i have uh, done in the past instead of t turning it on at the ad uh, at the campaign level at the ad set level so i'm at the ad set level i'm gonna call this ad one so let's say my ad one is a image ad. So I'll just select this image right here. And I'm gonna skip all the other stuff for the purpose of this demo. The primary text, I'll just say text, uh, fill this out. And once, I'm not gonna publish this because it's like a demo ad. I mean, close this, close. And you'll notice though this brand new test campaign, there's one ad which is an image ad, because I selected image in the creative. So I can easily, here's what I normally do. I'll just click on duplicate, and I wanna create the ad in the same campaign, same ad set, and then click on duplicate. And now it, it created like a ad one copy, I'll call this ad two. And now what I'll do is, let's say I wanna add, I'll clear this media, and I'll add the video to it. So let me select all videos. I believe this is a video. Next, and click next again, and done. So now it becomes a video ad. So let me discard this because I don't wanna cancel this actually, because I don't wanna actually publish this draft. So now I have, I'm AB, in this case, in this example, I'm AB testing the ad creative because ad one is an image ad and ad two is a video ad and like I said I'll have a link to the video which explain which goes through the creation process in more detail uh, so make sure you watch that after watching this video in this video I wanted to show you the importance of a B testing why you should always be thinking about a B test so uh, and then I'll, I'll duplicate this again and then create a carousel uh, ad campaign or carousel creative where I can attach multiple images in one ad. So this is how you do Facebook uh, ads, the A-B testing and um, potentially save a lot of money. So from $35 to $15, that's a huge improvement. Uh, and we came or we found that improvement by testing different ad creative images versus videos versus carousels and carousels for this campaign carousels were was the winner by the way for some other clients for some other campaigns the video might win or image might win so it just depends you gotta always be a b testing any questions uh on a b testing facebook ads uh let me know in the comments below before you go like and share this video so more people can see this and now let's watch this next facebook ad video together bye for now